What's up everybody guys, welcome back to Myanmar Wind tutorial. So I'm gonna talk about setting up uh, DMX lights from scratch in UE 5.3, which is a really new version. So I showed the setup with the DMX template, but someone commented that show me set up from the blank file. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna use uh, 5.3. Uh, which has super quick uh, launch system, I highly recommend it to use it. So let's make a blank project. So let's go to the blank project and the blueprint desktop maximum no search font no uh, ray tracing. The name is interactive uh, the MX light because uh, I'm gonna. Uh, make the interactive DMX light system uh, later on. So let's create it. Okay, first of all, uh, it is not what I want. So I'm gonna uh, make the new label. So that is an empty label uh, created. So I'm gonna save and I'm gonna uh, add the new folder. Name is maps and name is DMX lights. So DMX Lite uh, is a plugin of the UI Unreal Engine. So we need to go to the plugin folder. So what do we need to what do we need to enable uh, is three plugins essentially. So let's search DMX. So what is our, uh what we need to do? Uh, one is a DMX engine. Two is a DMX fixture. 3 is DMX protocol. So this is our essential setup. So let's restart it now. Okay, we come back uh, to the level. So I'm gonna open the DMX light, which is empty level. So uh, let's go to the engine uh, folder. If you don't see the uh, engine folder, you need to make sure uh, you already enable so this one. Uh, show engine content and also uh, you need to enable uh, show plugin content so in engine uh, engine folder uh, you can uh, open the engine folder and you can see the plugin folder so let's open it so we're gonna search uh, DMX uh, folder in there so what we need to do is a DMX picture content so let's go to the uh, light fixture so as you can see uh, there is a like a default uh, dmx light uh, which is prepared by unreal engine so so we're gonna i'm gonna use the bp moving light moving head so let's uh, the, uh, place it in the level the location is 000, zero, zero. so you can see uh this is the dmx light so next uh, what we need to do is uh, make a, a fixture. So what is a fixture? Uh, it is a device that has a specific address for any function like color, uh, dimmer, pan, tilt, etc. etc. If I describe the fixture as a football, the moving right is a player's, the MX controller is a manager, the fixture is a formation. Uh, a manager can choose the players and uh, control the player, right? So in this time, I'm gonna use the color dimmer, pan, tilt, zoom. So let's make a new level, a uh, no, new folder. So it is called DMX. Dive into it, and I'm gonna uh, make DMX level. That is a fixture. So the name is interactive. Uh, DMX fixture. Okay, so open the uh, this fixture and click on the new fixture type. The name is um, moving ahead and add the mode. Um, okay, now we can uh, add the function. So uh, as I told before, the first is a color. So the name is color. So next one is a Dimmer, uh, which means uh, brightness. Next one is pan. Pan. Uh, 
uh, which is rotating. So, and make sure the data type is not uh, 8 bit, it's 60 bit because it's more precise. So, next one is a tilt, tilt, okay, tilt, and also data type is a 60 bit, 16 bit. Okay, the last one is a zoom, and data type is 8 bit, is okay. And uh, let's search the zoom so you can find it. Okay, this is a basic setup. So let's go to the fixture part. So you need to add the fixture. So moving ahead, add the fixture. So the address is a 1 to 7. You send the, you know, like a value uh, from the 0 to uh, 255 uh, to this address. You can uh, move the uh, DMX lights or uh, you can, you know, like uh, change the color, change the uh, brightness or something like that. So next, uh, what we need to do is uh, assign the fixture to the DMX light. Uh, it's not difficult, it's super simple. So if you go down to the uh, DMX component, so you can see DMX liability. So what we need to do is uh, just select and also fix your patch with a moving ahead, zil, zil, zil. So that is uh, this one, right? So we can uh, assign a DMX light. But if we have multiple lights, it's going to be annoying uh, to select one by one. I know they're a really uh, great tool uh, that you can save it. So let's duplicate uh, this moving head. So I'm going to select the moving head and uh, press Alt and move it. So you can duplicate it. So one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have our eight a moving head. So we need to, you know, like change moving head zero zero one, zero zero two. So, when we, so to do that, we also uh, add the fixtures. So num patch is. So I'm gonna select seven. Oh, but it's, we need to change the address to here to make it you know clear. Next, select the BP moving head to the BP moving head to eight, and go to the DMX. And you can see the patch tool. That is really useful. So DMX library uh, is an interactive DMX fixture that is already uh, we made uh, <clears throat> before. What we need to do, just click the address and the rename. Let's do that. So as you can see, we can ch change the name. Uh, same as uh, the name of the DMX fixture, like a moving head, the one. And also we can you can see that you know, like a moving head to the one, zero zero no zero 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 one zero two. Oh my gosh, that's so useful. So probably you don't know how to use the patch tool, so it's very useful. I really, I highly recommend to use it. So finally, we wanna simulate to DMX signals. Uh, to do that we need to enable another plugin so let's go to the plugin folders the plugins uh window so let's type in the dmx so uh, you this is a dmx control console so let's enable it okay so before we start it now we need to change the uh start map because it's so annoying to change the uh, level each time. So DMX lights and DMX lights. So, okay, go back to the uh, plugin folder and restart it now and the saves are selected. Okay, so let's open it. So let's go to the uh, control console and you need to set the DMX library. So that is a directive DMX texture. And you can see there are eight texture type already uh, declare in the fixture so I need to select all 
and I'm gonna change the layout to the vertical. It's very uh, easy to see. So let's try to send a DMX. So if you click on the this button, we can send a DMX. But as you can see, nothing changed to here. So do you know why? So that because uh, we uh, didn't set the IP address of the Earthnet. So if you do, uh, to do that, you need to go to the uh, project settings and uh, type the DMX. So as you can see, uh, there are communication settings, so input port and output port. So let's uh, add the element input port and then make sure that you already selected uh, uh, 227 points. 0 .0 so you also need to add the element of the output uh, in the output port set. Okay, so make sure the settings is correct and go back to the uh, the control console. So let's try to again so send DMX. Okay, so as you can see, uh, if you uh, change the dimmer, so you can change the uh, brightness of the uh, uh, DMX light. And you also uh, change their pan and the tilt and the zoom as well. Yeah, that's it. So you can also change the dimmer to here. And this is uh, one. And what about the, this one? It's a uh, moving like two. So we'll just see the dimmer. It, yeah, as you can see, uh, we can change whatever you want. So, so this uh, means our uh, internal network uh, in this PC. So that's why. Uh, we can send a DMX. Uh, yeah, that's a basic setup. Uh, you can try to other set like you know like a laser module or pile module or matrix LED. And a DMX template is helpful to get into the fixed uh, features. So I'm gonna make the interactive DMX with touches in it. So let's jump into the next video.